Hi, I'm Dr. Joseph Vassilotti. I am a nephrologist and clinical professor of medicine at Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai. And I'm also the chief medical officer of the National Kidney Foundation. And I'm excited to be here with you today to discuss our paper called Fulfillment and Validity of the Kidney Health Evaluation for People with Diabetes. That's abbreviated the KED. And that's going to be published in Mayo Clinic Proceedings, Innovations, Quality and Outcomes Journal. The take home message from this paper is that albuminuria is the missing test in people living with diabetes. And clinicians who test albuminuria in people with diabetes implement better evidence based care than do those who do not test for the urine albumin to creatinine ratio. Table one of our paper shows you the quality measure that we evaluated, which was the annual testing for the kidney function or the estimated GFR and the kidney damage or endothelial damage, the urine albumin to creatinine ratio test in one year period in adults age 18 and older who had a clinician encounter. And we included um, patients from uh, Medicare fee-for-service, Medicare Advantage, and commercial health insurance for a total of over 7 million patients that we evaluated for the tests in 2017. And we look for the evidence-based care in 2017 and 2018. We excluded patients who wouldn't benefit from the testing, people with, treated with dialysis, people with diagnosed advanced kidney disease or CKD G5, and people who are unlikely to benefit from interventions, uh, those with hospice or palliative care uh, services or evidence of frailty. The outcomes of the study included less than 40% of individuals having both tests in 2017. And across the health insurance types, that was uh, consistent. But Medicare fee-for-service, it was 32.2%. Uh, Medicare Advantage, 38.7%. In commercial health insurance, it was 37.7%. And over 90% of the population across the health insurance types had the estimated GFR testing done. We think that's because clinicians do that test as part of routine panels like the basic metabolic panel and the comprehensive metabolic panel. But the urine albumin to create ratio test is something that isn't thought of, of uh, or isn't part of routine care. We found lower fulfillment of the testing in certain groups, people who were self-identified as Black or African Americans, people who had dual eligible status for Medicare and Medicaid, which is a proxy for low socioeconomic status, lower neighborhood income, and those with lower education status also had lower testing. And the qualitative findings uh, of the study that are shown in table four included better blood pressure and diabetes control for individuals who had both tests more diagnosis of chronic kidney disease where the EGFR and the urine albumin to creatinine ratio showed evidence for the diagnosis. Better interdisciplinary care with a nutritionist or a nephrologist. And lastly, a better evidence-based medication implementation, ACE inhibitors, angiotensin receptor blockers that uh, prevent um, cardiovascular events and also promote uh, kidney health or reduce the risk of kidney failure, CKD progression, and also SGLT2 inhibitors, which also similarly reduce cardiovascular events and CKD um, progression. And so we concluded that increasing guideline recommended testing for CKD for people with diabetes should lead to timely and equitable CKD detection and intervention. In the future, this will be important to clinicians because th this is part of the HEDIS program for commercial insurance. That's a quality measure for commercial insurance. And also for the MIPS program um, for Medicare and Medicaid, that's the quality measure for that uh, group. And those acronyms uh, stand for Healthcare Effectiveness Data and Information Set for HEDIS. 
And for MIPS, that's the merit-based uh, incentive payment system. Implementing those tests, the EGFR and the urinalbine to creatinine ratio at the population level, and also implementing interdisciplinary care and better use of medications that are kidney and cardiovascular protective, I think is an important next step that should help drive equitable kidney health care. I hope you'll read our paper and thank you for your attention.